In the previous movie, I was arpeggiating the notes and enveloping filter to show it in a normal patch or normal context. But this filter really shines when you can feed each of these different dimensions on the cue with slowly modulating voltages, either what I was doing with a mod wheel my sliders here, or say LFOs, random inputs, accents from your sequencer, etc. Let's go ahead and load. Different set of presets. Set up a drone by turning down the envelope a bit, turning up the VCA, choosing a low note, and play around with some of these controls. For example, here's the normal frequency. You see it's moving those three peaks along in the display on the Morpheus. And you see the harmonics change in our spectrum analyzer. Go ahead and really peak individual harmonics there to the point of overdrive. Because the Morpheus is very sensitive to levels and has such huge possibilities for resonance to peak individual harmonics, I find it very useful to have an input level control sitting in front of the Morpheus. It has lots of controls, but the one thing it is lacking is an input level control. I'm using an RYO, roll your own air attenuator, and I have it from my mixer with my oscillators right before the data, which is looping to the input of the Morpheus. So if I go ahead and tune in that harmonic that was out of control, I can go ahead and pull it back by dialing down the input. Or go ahead and increase the input drive. You can change the preset amounts of gain used by this filter by editing the individual presets, and I'll show that in a separate movie. Anyway, let's go play around with these filter sets some more keep a particular eye on that frequency response graph and on the spectrum analyzer on screen. You can see here how going in the X dimension really changes the character of that filter. It's actually morphing between two different frequency response arrangements. It's not just crossfading between two different filters, Some of these cutoffs and poles are actually moving as you go in between different corners of the cube. There I can add in some high frequency. You can really pull out individual harmonics and really play with them. Pull out that boost. Every preset is programmed and reacts differently. In general, frequency is cut off, but not always. It can be the filter shape as well. Bring up the next one in my chain here. There's just a simple sweep. Let's go ahead and change some shapes. There's a bunch of individual peaks. And hear how that would really help metallic sounds. And particularly when you push up the transform parameter on this one. That sounds like bowing a cymbal, doesn't it? Slow down my envelope here. Sounds beautiful when enveloped. I don't have a ring modulator patched or anything, that's just the movement of the poles in this filter. A different one. This case is something that really needs to be turned down. In this case, the Z dimension has been patched not to transform but to distortion. Let's go ahead and pull that out of the mix. Get our levels back again. And use distortion only sparingly. You see the filter really changes shape. It's not just frequency, but the whole shape of the filter.
Next one. This looks like an innocuous little low pass roll off. If I go ahead and increase the morph, you see some additional harmonics are really extenuated in the high end there. And we can change the shape of those harmonics and boost something lower instead. This one has a pair of really interesting notches and peaks. It has a lot of resonance, and you can see how it's affecting the waveform. And again, this is a case where frequency is not just a simple cutoff, but the shape of the entire response. Something a bit mellower, more like a low pass filter there, and then transform it. Another one. Nice comb here. I can go ahead and sweep this comb through like a phase shifter. And try some other parameters. They turn into peaks rather than notches. This one's particularly interesting. Again, it acts like a phase shifter, but the nature of that notch really changes with these controls. You can either sweep this broad notch, or I can turn it into a comb filter. together the notches. Really hear them play among those high harmonics. Or coalesce them back into a broad notch. There's many different vowel sets in here as well. end with a patch that they call breather. Again, very radical frequency response there. And the ability to really peak harmonics or groups of harmonics. Go ahead and move the bass notch there. and play around with the complexity of those combs. A 
lot of bass as possible with this filter as well. So that shows using the Morpheus on normal synthesizer type patches. In the next movie, I'm going to show using it as a stereo device to process program material such as stereo drum loops. Thank you.